Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to properly charge your iPhone on iOS 18. Now, when it comes to charging, there are several things you need to know. First of all, how to set up your iPhone so that it will charge safer and faster and that way you also get the maximum battery life on your iPhone and also retain the battery lifespan of your iPhone and also how to charge your iPhone faster, the do's and don'ts of charging your iPhone. So in this video, we're gonna talk all about that. Now we'll just like separate this video into a few different sections, talking about a few different things that you should know when it comes to charging your iPhone. First off, let's talk about things that you shouldn't do when it comes to charging your iPhone. Now, the number one thing I suggest you never do is charge your iPhone using a fake cable or using a fake charger. Usually fake chargers and cables that you get for a pretty cheap price, you can get them basically anywhere, so that's the bad thing. They will sometimes heat up the iPhone a lot. The battery will heat up a lot while charging, that way damaging your iPhone's battery a ton. And there are always like different cases that we see on the internet where there are also different incidents involving like fake chargers and also fake cables for iPhone iPhones, so make sure you avoid them. Now, another thing I would avoid when it comes to charging the iPhone is wireless chargers. Now, once you charge your iPhone with a wireless charger, you will notice that it will actually heat up a lot. Now, I never use a wireless charger on my iPhone. The only time I will use it is sometimes in my car when I place it on the car's wireless charger, it does heat up a lot. In like five minutes, the iPhone will be very, very hot. And if I leave it there, for a few minutes it will probably stop charging due to the high temperature of the battery so again make sure you avoid wireless chargers for as much as possible and also cases that do hit up the battery of your iphone if you have a case you have it on and you're charging your iPhone, you notice that it heats up a lot, make sure you completely remove it or just replace it with a thinner case or a case that has basically not like a solid back here, but it has spaces when air can flow, that way your iPhone won't heat up a lot. And now let's talk about how to optimize the settings of your iPhone in order for you to get the best charge out of your iPhone, the best battery life, and also the best battery life span. Now, first of all, you need to head on to your settings and then go to battery. Now with iOS 18, we have here a new setting that you should take a look at. So you go to charging right here and we have this slider that says charge limit. Now, if you have this on your iPhone, I would suggest that you turn it on and you set it right here at 90%. You know that according to Apple, you should like charge your iPhone at 80%. So basically between 40% and 80%, that's the sweet spot for the battery of your iPhone. That's when the battery will be at its best shape and will retain, of course, its health. That way having a much longer lifespan. But if you want to get the best of both worlds, so you get the best battery life, of course, the, the most charge, you get 90%, but still you're not charging to 100%, which means that you're still protecting the battery health of your iPhone, then I would suggest that you set it at 90%. That's basically the best setting to have. And then you will have the other one right here. If you don't have the charge limit slider right there, you will have optimized battery charging. I do suggest that you keep this on. Uh, I see a ton of people actually turn this on. For a few days, their iPhone won't charge at 100% and they just turn it off. You have to keep this on. So you keep it on, you leave it for some time, and then this will help your, help your iPhone actually understand your patterns, how you charge your iPhone, at what time you use it the most. That way it will optimize the battery charging so it gives you the best battery charge, the most charge, and of course, will also protect the battery health of your iPhone. Now, when it comes to charging, you will also have here something called clean energy charging. Now, what this does is that it will basically select to charge your iPhone only when lower carbon emissions are available. That way, it will slow down the charge of your iPhone. So I would suggest you turn this off. If you really need to charge your iPhone as fast as possible, this will probably slow it down. So I would turn it off completely. 
Now another thing here when it comes to charging your iPhone, charging it overnight it's actually a very very safe as long as you have set up these settings the way i talked and the way i showed you guys right there then charging your iphone overnight is very safe there is no problem as long as you have a genuine cable a genuine charger and of course you have the settings set up the right way there won't be any problem at all with you charging your iphone during the night because of course your iphone will learn its patterns will charge at 80% then it will charge close to the morning before you wake up at 100% or if you have set the limit here it will charge to the limit and stop uh, there of course until you wake up so charging overnight no problem at all and now for the third section let's talk about charging faster how do you charge your iphone faster well for iphones that do support fast chargers you will have to have a charger that does charge your iphone faster now if you don't have one that you have bought you can maybe have one from your ipad which will charge your iphone faster and when you get a charger just take a look at this part right here it will show you how many watts of power it does have so for the newer iphones they support up to 30 watts so that's the maximum that they can charge the maximum speed is 30 watts but for other iphones like the iphone 15s you can get a 20 watt charger 25 watt charger uh, that's of course enough and even if you have a charger that is like it has way more capacity than that like i have one here from my macbook and i use it to charge my iphone it's perfectly safe it won't do anything bad to the iphone because of course the iphone will only get the power that it needs so it's actually very very safe so also if you want to fast charge your iphone you can also use the macbook charger that's pretty cool now a few other things that you can do is not use your iphone while charging of course there is no problem with that but if you just want to charge faster then leave it don't just work something on it and expect it to charge really fast because at the same time you're actually draining battery out of your iphone while trying to charge faster so that's also another thing you can do and of course having low power mode on during charging it will help a lot because low power mode as you know will actually make your iphone consume way less battery and while you're charging and your iphone is now consuming less battery of course it will charge way faster but you don't want to bother with that you don't want to have to actually turn on low power mode anytime you want to charge you can do that automatically i'll show you guys how you go to the shortcuts app right here you tap on new automation and then go ahead and find the charger here so then we have the charger select here when connected and then tap on run immediately tap the next button and then right here tap on new blank automation and search for low power mode then we have set low power mode it's like this turn low power mode on tap the dumb button and now we're good to go so you can see right here if i just plug in my device to charge it will actually go ahead and turn on low power mode that is done automatically you can see it right there now once you have plugged in your device it's charging low power mode is on it's charging faster when you unplug it you don't want to have to go back and turn off the low power mode you can do that with an automation as well so tap the plus button right there go to charger and then choose here disconnected deselect this one select that one tap on run immediately tap the next button new blank automation search for low power mode again so there we have low power mode tap where it says on it will go to off tap the dumb button and now we're good to go so we have low power mode which has been turned on once we connected the device and now if i disconnect the device you can see right there low power mode will switch off automatically so that's really awesome so that's basically it for this video guys these are a few tips and tricks that will help you charge your iphone the right way hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one